Hi, and welcome to the CG200 training. And in this lesson, we will be going over how to animate this lower third in and out, the one that we created in the previous lesson. So before we do that, let's save this lower third into our new show folder. So I hit the file, save as, and let's just uh, go to here. And I'll go to, I like to, and say my lower third one. So now we open up here, we'll have it like that. I like to keep my builds here. These are like my templates. And then when I make them unique, I'll save them as, and then save them into this folder. And then I can delete these every show so they don't pile up. So anyways, now that we have that saved, we can go into our objects. So you click on the object you want to animate in. This is our main object. So we'll click on that and you can see right now it is start delay, no, no value, simple cut, nothing, everything's, there's no animation at all to this. So what we want to do is move up a tad bit. Okay, and let's say here's our options, what we can do. So slide from left, we have a stretch, a reveal. So Let's say, let's slide from, from the right side. Then how long do you want it to take? Maybe I can do a quarter second, 0.25, let's go over, that's the first one. And then let's go to this object. And so you can do a simple cut, but let's start it at a 0.250. enter okay and then um, let's change let's go over to this one here the stinger and let's bring the stinger from the right as well and start in the delay at 0.25 same thing as the previous object click that push enter except we're gonna slide this or I shouldn't say, let's uh, reveal it from the right side and let's put this at 0.2, okay? And then click over here on the website and this will start in the delay at 0.3, maybe a little bit after the other one and I'm going to reveal from the bottom Point two. All right. This is just the in effect, and then this one here. We're just going to have this one here come up from uh, maybe like a um, reveal from center vertically. That come up right away, and point two. Okay, so now we have these kind of, everyone has a starting um, animation to it. So we can click on these individually and we can see what they come up. That's how it is. And I can add to it as I'm clicking on these. Hit play and you'll see how they animate in. That'll play everything just by clicking this one. And, all, and it just cuts out because we haven't programmed the out animation. So. But first of all, let's just play the whole thing and we'll see what it looks like right here. So then we end it and play it again. There we go, let's end it. So um, now let's go back to here and let's animate this out. So right now we slide from the right side and we can uh, slide to the right at 0.25. This one can go, uh, let's just go slide to the bottom, 0.25, just keep it the same. And we'll slide this one also. Uh, 
slide this to the bottom as well. I don't want anything to go over the front of anything. So we'll say slide to bottom. Mm. Bring my Mac down and go a little faster. And this one here will go. the center. So I think we have them all. Okay, so let's save this by clicking the save icon right here. Save it, and then I'll play the whole thing. Okay, so that's how it comes up, and then I will end all. See, and then it goes away. Now, let me play it again. Let me, if I stop it, it'll just cut it. Like I said before, by stopping it, it does not actually finish the animation. It just stops it. So it just goes away. And I have seen a lot of times it will crash by hitting stop, especially if you have a lot of these loaded up. So I, I will end it, then it goes away nicer. And that's all there is on this lesson.